Did you know a 17-year-old boy almost caused a nuclear disaster in his backyard? In 1994, David Hahn lived in suburban Detroit and dreamed of building his own nuclear reactor. Most teenagers stick to baking soda volcanoes, but David convinced officials he was conducting legitimate research. He ordered radioactive materials through the mail like they were chemistry sets. Radium from old clock faces, thorium from camping lanterns, uranium from smoke detectors. In his mother's shed, he assembled an actual breeder reactor using coffee cans and duct tape. Neighbors started reporting strange green lights glowing from the backyard at night. David's face began showing radiation burns, his hair falling out in clumps. When authorities finally investigated, they found radiation levels 1,000 times higher than normal background levels. The EPA arrived in full hazmat suits, treating the shed like a nuclear accident site. Radioactive ash had blown across the entire neighborhood for months. The most terrifying part? His makeshift reactor was dangerously close to achieving critical mass in a residential area.